Hi Virgo, how are you? I hope you're doing well. So a couple things, I have been calling, so if you've been watching me, I've been seeing two sides of a scale. One side over here I've been calling low vibrational energy and the other side I've been calling high vibrational energy. Most of our mystic star seeds, light workers, how that really resonates with you earth angels. Um, so on this side over here, I decided to change the name because I felt like it's like just because you're feeling these low vibrational feelings, like if you're an empath or if you know your emotions are just a little unbalanced here and there and you catch yourself, it doesn't mean you're a low vibrational being. I'm calling this the unbalanced, just unbalanced energies. Doesn't necessarily have to be people specifically, but emotions, feelings, and energy. Um, when I say unbalanced too, I think it's perfect because we have the stagnant fear-based energy, but then we also up top have the impatience energy as well. A lot of impatience right now, okay? So don't worry, um, just catch yourself. You are, you are resilient and resistant that's what I just heard so it's like if you do catch yourself in this feeling and these emotions just a reminder like just a reminder to not not give in like that you are resistant and then it's it's shifting it's it's okay for you to feel those things especially having a Scorpio full moon that's a lot of emotions to purge okay so it's okay to feel them everything is amplified but it's meant for you to feel and then release okay so just draw attention observe how you're feeling and then know if it's your energy or if it's someone else's is this mine is this mine if it's not release it if it is go within heal and purge okay it's okay to cry it out it's okay to need to release but i feel like you guys are being resilient and resistant to this energy and even just by drawing attention to the difference that's the first step you know what i mean okay virgo let's see what's going on in your surrounding this could be the collective humanity this could be the collective of light worker star seeds earth angels mystics however that resonates or it could even be just like you and your energy or energy surrounding you so we'll see what's going on okay messages for virgo energies message for Virgos. Whoa. Hello. Live justice in reverse and then unable to travel because of self-doubt. And when I say travel, I don't necessarily mean travel, even though that is funny. They do want me to draw attention to the lack of travel. Um, and the point is, is that I choose to go within, but I can go outside anytime I want. But with this lack of travel, knowing that you're not confined or trapped, okay? This is like, confinement and entrapment and remembering like nobody has control over you you only have control over you and that goes into a whole nother message of I can only control myself right so don't surrender your power if I want to leave I can if I want to leave I can but it's like you guys are looking at that next wand you have big plans it feels like don't let self-doubt they want me to say this don't let self-doubt encase you and it's like if justice hasn't been on your side things are changing you're moving on you're moving away from this it's like this wand back here, yes, it taught you lessons. Yes, it was a new beginning. Yes, it could have been it could have been what worked for you then, but things are changing. You're changing, you're evolving, your vibration is raising, and it's like maybe this wand isn't what you truly desire anymore. It's like I learned my lesson from that on to the next. Here's what I learned. I'm so thankful, I'm so grateful for the lessons I learned, but I need something that does serve me. Oh my God, and there's the scales again. This could be Libra energy. You could be moving away from a Libra energy or towards. Don't get too caught up in that. Um, but if Libra energy is something that is um, specifically for your storyline, take it. Take it as it resonates, right? But there is the balance. Where in your life has it been unjust, unfair, and unbalanced? What's taking up your energy that you need to move away from? That's also a great message too. Like, I have unlimited time. And especially right now, because of the energy, the opportunity we're in, it's like time is a time is abundant. Time is always abundant, but I don't have unlimited energy. And it's like you now know what serves your highest good and what does not. And you have decided, okay, this doesn't serve me. So I move on to what does. I let fall what needs to be fall. If you've been done dirty in the past, trust me. Trust me, things are looking up. This will no longer affect you. You're healing from this. This could also for me be truths coming in in the uh like patriarchy, the government as a whole, okay? So like I said, I see a lot of different energies at play right here. I believe 100%, especially with the Scorpio full moon, I don't mean it's gonna happen in the next couple days, but I am feeling very heavy, like soon, soon, soon energy as in a month. I feel like truths are gonna come to light about what's going on in the government, okay? So truths coming out and it's, it's almost like unfair. 
unjust okay so if this doesn't feel like your energy and you've been done dirty per se it's just confirmations of truths coming out in the surrounding environment surrounding energy we are in at this time but look at you you're like this doesn't serve me anymore but I but I'm thankful and I learned my lesson and that gives you the ability to move on to move forward to bigger higher vibrational things and I'm not going to say better I mean quite literally higher vibrational things that match your frequency okay Okay, I learned this. What's next? I almost am like getting what's my next lesson? Like what fall like it's like what's my next lesson? What's the next thing I'm drawn to? What what really fills me up at this point because of my evolution and who I am? And it's moving on to the next. It's it's like if you're drawn to something, whether it's a movie, documentary, like a, a book, like guys, go for it, fall down the rabbit hole. But this is quite literally truths coming up in the patriarchy. There's been a lack of balance and the way power, ooh, the way power has been does not serve the highest good, the highest potential timeline for new earth. So it will not succeed. Okay. All right. But like, I'm proud of you guys. I feel like you guys are like, here's this wand. And yes, it's a little unknown and I'm a little unsure, but I'm, I'm grounded in mother, mother earth and I'm supported by spirit. It's like, even though I don't know exactly what this means for me, too many cards. I think there was one in there. I saw judgment and I'm, but like judgment as a whole is telling me like, who will answer the call? And I know you guys are answering the call. And if, if you're starting to awaken and you're starting to get that call, just just know spirit is aware that you are answering the call. Okay. <laughs> all right. We'll, we'll take it, Brigham. We'll take it. But it's also like, what's holding you back from answering that call? Like, is it stuff that you need to clear up what people have done to you in the past? Like, do you need some healing to come in before you can move on to this wand to answer your call because you're being held back or energy is holding you back? I, I mean, it's not for everyone, but at the end of the day, like, it's, oh, because technically, even if other people are holding you back, you're sacrificing your power and your energy and you won't be doing that anymore because that's not fair to you. And it's like, I choose me first. I choose me first, which is exactly how it should be because you can't help the collective until you choose yourself. And this came up for you. There is you coming into balance. Look at the two, two, um, as well as the balance. This is all about duality for me. Two of cups could quite literally mean like relationships going well, twin flames. It, it's really like partnership and connection. So this could be confirmation that like if you're leaving something that was unjust and going into something there's smoother sailing with that relationship or with that whether it's family friends romantic however it resonates with you but for me especially with all this duality coming in here it's coming into balance with your masculine and feminine inside of yourself remind you that no matter what your gender whatever however that resonates with you is you have both masculine and feminine energy and you're coming into a balance there this is a time where this doesn't work anymore all solar plexus all power 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 How how do I keep my power? That's what the patriarchy is thinking. How do I keep my power? And it just does not serve Mother Earth. It does not serve Mother Earth to have those low vibrational feelings. And there's nothing wrong with power, but it's like the power by controlling with financial as well as fear, that is not a high vibrational path. And it is time for us to dive deep into the sacral chakra, knowing and flowing. Yeah, it's like time to balance the divine femi feminine with the divine masculine and the only way it will succeed if it is if it's in balance it's like time to nurture yourself time to take care of yourself so that you can nurture others and it's time to be creative and flow and allow and you guys are coming into balance like i said it could be a partnership for some of you if something's fallen off and you're moving on to smoother waters and this is what you're wanting this is what you're manifesting this could be confirmation right there or i'm getting communication with uh, twin flames telepathically as well okay but that's for like if it does not resonate with you and that's not the path in this timeline for you please do not take that with you um don't get caught up in that okay but if that is for very very specific but for me it's like duality within yourself guys you guys are coming into balance being able to manifest being like 
it's like magic but this whole message for me even though it's very heavy on you guys moving away from things that are unjust and on the scales it's like I choose to be balanced I choose to be in the here and now what can I do today I take control over my power I take control over my mindset I'm not going to be in a fear-based mindset and I'm not going to be so impatient. I'm going to allow, allow, and flow, and flow, and flow. That's beautiful. Yes, Virgo. That's how we should all be. Obviously, I, I'm very heavy with the Scorpio full moon energy that was just boom on us. Lots of truths coming out. And that could just be, as I said, it's very heavy in the patriarchy and the government. But it could be in your life as well. Truths coming out and you're like, all right, this doesn't serve me. Let me go on to what does. That keeps me balanced and in line and feeling feeling powerful but also nurturing myself the balance it's all about balance guys and being in the here and the now mm, yes I learned my lesson from this wand what can I learn today and like I said falling down rabbit holes if you need to if you're drawn to something go for it oh but guys confirmation too if you're moving away from an injustice or however that resonates if it was a job if it was family if it was friendships confirmation that it will be replaced look at that duality that is three signs of duality including the scales and justice that makes it four this is all about duality but soulmate for me is coming in yes this could be a love partnership if that fills up your cup and that's what you're asking for yes there's your confirmation right there guys beautiful if that's what your heart truly desires that is beautiful but for some of you this could just be like-minded individuals finally i'm not alone finally my collective yes a lot of star beings right now especially um a lot of you who have atlantean and lumerian scars like coming into your collective telepathically i'm getting really heavy telepathic energy so please i choose to go within and i listen i listen for those murmurings because they're trying to get a hold of you and my entire body is vibrating so that's a very specific message a very yeah and there's some guides um very specific message so if you are activated or interested please there's your rabbit hole i found your rabbit hole but this is confirmation of your collective coming in like it's like people who vibrate like you you're like finally because this doesn't serve me anymore no more injustice i choose the path of balance i choose to be in the here and now and i choose things that vibrate for my highest potential my highest good and here is confirmation if you want love if that's what you're calling for I that's for you. But if it's deeper than that, this deeper connection of craving community, cra craving your collective, and it's like you don't know what you're missing. And then once it comes to you, oh my god, the floodgates, right? Confirmation right there. It feels very telepathic for me, okay? Oh my god, look at all that freaking duality and balance within yourself, obviously, but that's very heavy. Oh my god, that coming out to the sea. I saw this in my mind's eye for um, for Taurus too. So this one is all about, you can see spirit in here if I uh, had the camera up closer. So you are in the boat, you are in the water, you're here, you're now. What can I do in the here and now? But I flow, the water flowing with spirit, allowing spirit to guide you, knowing also no matter what course you're on, no matter where this advent adventure, <laughs> that's cute, feels so Lord of the Rings. I've been getting that so much, like let's go on an adventure. I'm like, what the fuck is this adventure? I'm excited, I'm excited guys. You should be too, look at this, away from this. It's like to the sea. Off we go to the sea on our adventure, supported by spirit, knowing no matter where the current takes us, that we are supported and we flow. Very important to flow. But this is like travel. This is, this doesn't mean you're going on vacation. It's just moving to smoother waters, moving away from things that do not serve your highest good or your highest potential anymore. Oh, okay. There we go, Virgo. A leg up. Yes. Okay, first off, I really like this card with the polar bears because I see this big polar bear. You guys are going to think I'm fucking cheesy. I don't really care, honestly. There's this big, big polar bear and it's supported and grounded and strong. And then there's a little one climbing up on it. It's the leg up, knowing that you have this advantage over others. You have this knowledge, this wisdom, but also this support. Like there's, oh my God, it's there's spirit in the clouds for soulmate, spirit in the cloud also for to the sea. Conference right there that you are supported divinely supported i almost guys if you're star beings or if that resonates with you anyway 
it's not just spirit and it's not just your angels and your spirit guides of light and your archangel. It's like your collective watching over you. You have a leg up. You have the support. You can accomplish anything. And it's the way you vibrate. You have a leg up. You have a leg up on this injustice. You know what I mean? Like this won't affect you. It won't leave you shaking out of a balance because you're flowing with spirit. And you know, no matter what, no matter what's to come, you're staying grounded and you're staying positive and you're staying in the love and the light because that's what you choose to do because of who you are as a being. You have a leg up. Oh my gosh, guys, this is so, it feels like yummy, yummy in my heart. It's like, guys, if you've been feeling alone or if you've been lost, it's like there's no more lost for you. The messages are coming in. Spirit is supporting you. Your collective is supporting you. You will go away from the injustice and rise above. Oh my God. So give me just a second and we'll pull more card. Okay, Virgo, let's get some archangels out for you. This is a pretty self-explanatory spread. Guys, this is absolutely beautiful so let's see um what archangels are coming in to uh, support you this week or what messages our archangels have for you guys <sighs> messages for virgo thank you so much spirit guides of the light as well as archangels and messages for virgo there we go <gasps> stop Oh my God, the scales coming out again. Here we are seeing the imbalance versus the balance. It's also integrity with Archangel Hanal, who is our divine warrior. That's beautiful. Knowing that what you fight for, you fight for justice. You will not allow injustice, lack of balance to prevail. Not you, not you Virgo, never. Because you have this like this light it's like integrity comes naturally for you you know what is not wrong and right but you know what is low vibrational what is high vibrational what serves the best for the collective and it's like everything I do I do it with integrity yes Virgo I'm gonna put that with leg up and justice with the scales right there oh my gosh knowing that everything you do is balanced and you're doing it with integrity. Like the thing, you are rising above this injustice because it does not serve the highest good for the collective. And that's why. That's why. Wow. Damn, guys. Thank you. Thank you for your, your justice. Oh, my God. Security. Oh, my God. This read is so good. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for you guys. So security coming in, knowing that no matter where you go, no matter where spirit takes you, where your collective takes you, where the sea fucking guides you, man, where the sea guides you, you will be secure and safe. Confirmation also that when you do rise above this unbalanced energy, when you do go against the grain, when you do decide to rise up against in a loving way, confirmation right there that you will be supported. Reminder that what this side is feeling is loss. Loss is a human emotion. We are spiritual beings having a human experience and spirit totally understands the feeling of loss and it is justified. You will feel those things, but they're not meant to hold you down or hold you back. Transmuting that energy into gratitude. Thank you for my lesson. But at the end of the day, spirit is confirming that you will always have security. You are always safe. You are always protected. You are always guided. Confirmation right there. You are going to the new earth, safe, protected, and abundant right there to the sea. To the sea. I like that. Virgo. I don't know if you know me yet, but I yell at my signs all the time. Virgo. I'm proud. It's like a baby chick flying for the first time. Shut up. Speaking of baby chicks flying, Archangel Uriel coming in with freedom. Yes, coming into freedom. Oh my it's like, finally, it's like, this can't, it doesn't even touch you. Your leg up and the person you are, how you, the being you are and how you vibrate. It's like, you know, you can release yourself from the matrix. You can release yourself from the confinement, the injustice, and you are moving on to smoother waters, to an earth that vibrates like you. You will meet mother earth there. Confirmation right there. You will feel free. Whenever we come into this earth there, it's bogged down and dense with karma. Human beings constantly repeating cycle, repeating cycle after cycle. When we were not born to be kept 
confined, controlled by money and power. We were born to be free, to create, to live, to explore, to go on our adventure. And guess what? For you. It's for you. It's for you, Virgo. God, you want to cry with me, Virgo? We can have a good, we can have like a little cry together. It'll be fun. <laughs> this is fine. Okay, guys, let's see what animals are coming in to support you. Um, so like I said, if any of you are like kind of interested in what I'm saying, are you kind of or like activated by anything, please look into being a star being, for one. Your collective is supporting you. Um, two, you might want to look into the new earth. There's the three waves of volunteers in the new earth by Dolores Cannon. Um, she is a quantum hypnotherapist. Bless her heart. Mm, my love. Mm, I love her. So just she goes at a deeper layer of the subconscious. Like I want you guys to know like what you will read, the truths that will come out will shake you to your core. Like things you weren't supposed to believe in or things that aren't real end up being real and then the illusions come out um she has a lot of interactions with star beings but most importantly what why we're here why we're here if you're ever like if you're feeling lost and you're like what is my purpose here that's really helpful in activations okay guys so definitely definitely look into that if you are being called okay okay all right any messages from our spirit animals Okay, I said this at the beginning. <laughs> Hummingbird spirit, be here and now. It's like, yes, I choose today. I choose today to have gratitude, be happy, be supported, and embrace the unknown because the only person I can control is myself. And although I do not know what is to come, I do not know that the future, I know that I am supported and guided. So you know what? You know what I'm going to do today? All I can today to have gratitude, to heal, to start a project, however it resonates, what makes me happy? I'm going to start doing it today. I create my own world. I create my own happiness. Beautiful energy. Okay, giraffe spirit, see the big picture. Okay, guys, I want you to know that there is a bigger picture going on here. There are reasons. There are so many spiritual beings, light workers, earth angels, and it is time for you to wake up, answer the call. What's holding you back? Fear, doubt, this injustice? Not anymore. Not you guys. Not you guys. Because you are with integrity and just knowing you are protected and secured by spirit. Look at the bigger picture. It's time for you to learn about the new earth. Ooh. Oh my God, I saw two vultures today and I actually said this out loud. Uh, vulture spirit, nothing is wasted. Exactly. It's like this wand before or like, guys, if you're, this is like something I've been seeing for a really long time since people started waking up. It's like if you feel like you put all this effort down this path into this relationship on your family, on this career, and all of a sudden you woke up. And you're like, this doesn't serve me anymore. And it's time for me to move on. Do not live with regret for that. For that has taught you the lesson, created you to be the person you are today. And it's like, I won't get trapped in that cycle again. I release that cycle. I release that way of thinking. Nothing is wasted. Everything I learned, everything I went through is for a reason. To get me to be the evolved being I am today. Yes, nothing is wasted. None of your time was wasted. Nothing is wasted. It's like, it's okay. It's okay if you made mistakes, take it easy on yourself. What did you learn from those mistakes? Instead of why did this happen to me? What did I learn? Yes, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful energy right there. Let's see what's going on. Um, these are little, I don't know, I don't wanna say affirmations. They're just, they're words for you to download on. And they're like little forest theme. And I think that's cute because I feel like we're like going into the unknown, like into the woods. Yeah. On an adventure into the unknown. Because there you are taking your ship to the sea you go and freedom you shall feel. I just said it like a medieval human. Okay. How many do we get? And we'll get one more after this as well. Oh my God. Path. 
wander the path less traveled what you might find will surprise you oh my god yes this path before knowing that it was not wasted knowing that it taught you all the lessons you need to know and it's like no matter where you go or what path you follow even if it was less traveled against the grain the unknown it stands with integrity for justice look for your path it is opening up it is illuminated for you guys at this time patience everything can be accomplished at nature's pace yeah and I think that's a really important thing too like I've been saying over here the imbalance the unbalanced the scales two scales right there confirmation right there the side of the unbalanced like I said some of them are really stagnant and fear energy but I've been really heavily picking up on the impatience what's the point of rushing what's the point of rushing anything because at the end of the day, when we practice patience, that's flowing and that's allowing and knowing that, yes, this is to come to me. The freedom's coming. The freedom's coming. Like my liberation is coming and I am secure, but I get to enjoy the here and the now, right? Enjoy the here and the now. I think that's super important message right now. Okay. Let's see what else is coming out. I like these cards because although they were little, I was nervous I was going to have to cut and they weren't going to jump. She's been jumpy. Okay. Grounded. Keep your roots and stand taller than the trees. I love this. A reminder at this time that you're going to get messages that you are going to feel a little head in the clouds because it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. And for a lot of my friends who are just waking up, who have reached out to me, I've been telling them, I'm like, go outside, just go outside. I know you're overwhelmed. Let, let the sun clear you, shoot your roots in Gaia, earth yourself, put your bare feet for 10 minutes on Gaia. Um, do a grounding meditation, get some grounding stones. Like Guys, it's really important for you to stay grounded at this time because the 3D is going to be very important because we have to help Mother Gaia, Mother Earth. We are in this with her. We are here for her this time, okay? Like I said, the new Earth, please, if you're getting guided, trust me, okay? Okay, guys, beautiful fucking read. <laughs> Did anyone else, like, sometimes when I get, like, really excited, I start, like, cussing up a storm cussing up his mind. yes because we're powerful but we allow yes okay guys <laughs> thank you virgo for being here beautiful beautiful read i'm really excited for what you guys stand for what's to come for you practice your patience stay grounded look into the new earth because someone needs to see that message okay okay thank you so much with love and light